During part of the 19th and 20th century, the hegemonic empire that imposed misery, violence, and terrorism, and death, and dictatorships and throughout America on behalf of a supposed freedom. So many invasions, so many dictatorial regimes. Barely two days ago, we were commemorated 51 years of the fascist coup d'etat of Augusto Pinochet against President Salvador Allende, who financed it and prepared it, who ruled it in 1973. President Richard Nixon, Secretary of State, and the CIA to kill the first democratic experience peaceful of Latin America to carry out an independentist and socialist revolution. And they killed a nobleman who never gave up and with his blood marked uh, fascism of Augusto Pinochet forever. Some people said that Allende died on September 11, 1973, but they don't understand history. He became immortal that day of 1973, an immortal soul, an ex immortal example for all of us who fight for life. Because being little kids, we studied Allende. Victor Jara and the poems of Neruda, the taste for poetry was always there for a good poetry. Nanez, a great poet. Pablo Neruda. We were standing here singing, and from time to time we read poems from the Pablo Neruda's books, Come to Born With Me, America, remember it? Well, such a something beautiful, remembering the processes, marvelous processes, I would say. These are processes like miracles, miraculous. And today, more than yesterday, that I'm a man of faith, I'm a man of God, because I am. I'm a Christian of Christ, without intermediates. I don't wear any priest uh, clothes. I always go to God to ask for some things in the worst circumstances. God will provide, and I believe that God has given us his blessing, and we're living in miracles. Uh, blessed times are, have arrived from Venezuela. Let's take advantage of these times to build a better homeland to help the people who need to help and fix everything that needs to be fixed. Let's analyze in this journey of Friday to prepare for the starting of the school party of Venezuela. Because the school year, uh, the start of the school year has to be the party of culture, education, and life. Of the unity of education, Carlos Delgado Chalvo. We need to vindicate him. He hasn't been vindicated. He was a great nationalist, a great patriot, and I believe he was an anti-imperialist. Let's vindicate him in the Bolivarian forces. Because he was murdered because he was one of the great leaders for the 1950s on Venezuela to change processes by them. Let's move on so that Almirant is she's there, Naomi is arriving, 
he has gained weight because he's eating at night. We need to take diets. There is now with Pedro Diaz, Domiciano, and director of Plantel, Maritza Rondon, chief of the UBG, to show uh, our work in Rico Miles. We were listening to declarations of the president of Venezuela from this educational unity in El Valle, Caracas, capital of Venezuela. He was making reference to the 51 years of the coup d'etat against Allende in Chile, carried out by the United States. We were live to Caracas, Venezuela, where President Nicolás Maduro offered statements from the Jose Avalos National Education Unit. During his statements, the President recalled that the successive administrations of the United States are the ones to blame on the history of terrorism, dictatorships, and horrors in Latin America on behalf of an alleged freedom. Chilean leader Salvador Allende became immortal that September 11th, 51 years ago, and his legacy reminds us that the region will never let that painful story to repeat itself. Venezuela is living blissful times, times of transformation and development, the president assured. This is all for the moment. Stay tuned with From the South.